I don't know. I mean, I'm not just gonna start off like my comics career and just put out a giant graphic novel as like the first thing I ever do. You know what I mean? <laughs> That'd be a little pretentious, right? That'd be <laughs> terrible, man. I, you know, you got to start small anyway. If you're gonna tell a big story, you've got to start off telling a bunch of small stories. You know. So I'm just doing it the way that I think I should do it in order to become the best cartoonist I can. I, I don't want it like I don't want Blambo to be just like a comic book of self-deprecating strips, you know. Mm -hmm. And I don't want I want to be more well-rounded as a comic artist than that, and be able to do all sorts of different kinds of things, and uh, let people like when they come and they get a copy of Blambo to have all sorts of different things instead of just like you know. I don't know. Maybe they'll be surprised by the different things they get in each issue. These things, like once you become conscious that like people are actually going to see what you're doing, you start to get kind of scared about how it looks, you know. Like you, you'll draw a hand and be like, "Is that hand okay?" I don't know, you know. So I guess it, I guess it's a little bit harder than it was because when I was doing the mini comics, you know, like I'd print up like a hundred of them or something, and it'd be around the city, and then that was it, you know. Sure. And those of you would just go leave around. Yeah, like, I was you, just, you would like sneak them into places. I was, right? Yeah, I was dropping them off, like on you know, like uh, coffee shops with that counter where all the flyers are and stuff. I would literally, I would just walk around with a backpack full of my mini comics and just leave them there, like next to the flyers. Sure. And then that's how I did it. I think that was a good idea though, I think it worked. I, I was more into like Ralph Snart and oh. Bone and that kind of stuff that was laying around. More like the weird cartoony stuff than superhero stuff. I don't think I even can remember ever reading a superhero comic when I was a kid. So every Everything that I do, every page that I do looks better than the last pages that I did. You know? Yeah. Like every, like for the hypo, all the pages that I've been doing, I'll like stand back and like look at it like, that's like the best page I've ever done, you know? Yeah. And it's like the page as a whole. Like I've never done like one panel and been like, man, that composition of that panel looks really great, you know? It's always been like the whole page as like one giant like composition, you know? Yeah. I'm not gonna laugh about, <laughs> I mean, I'm not like, trying to get people to laugh about how poor I was really, I guess, in that Ethan story really. Cause that's just like the truth. That's just the way it was. Yeah. But I'm not rich. It's like this crack in the ceiling here. You see this? Oh, that's <laughs> when it rains, water leaks in. That's handsome. It's terrible. That's I, I wonder why you didn't have any water. It's because the water is like yeah, running down that the, wall. Like the stage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's fantastic. I'm truthful, man. Yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is, it does have the feel of a prison. Set. I mean, it's like it's got two nice. It has the feel of a prison set. It has the feel like. I feel like this, even the stuff tacked up on the wall is kind of like the prisoner girl magazines <laughs> or whatever, you know? Like, right, I have all these Abe Lincolns like, torn out of magazines. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. And then Joan from Mad Men. <laughs> I mean, wasn't. This, is, this is not really a... I know, but it wasn't like a, a decision, like, if I become a cartoonist, I can make a lot of money. It was like something that was, I was sort of like born into in a way, because it's like, it was such a huge part of my family that by the time I was a teenager, it was like, I was already a cartoonist, you know? And so like, and I don't know, things have like gone so easily, like a lot easier for me when I as trying to be a cartoonist than other cartoonists had it, you know? Other cartoonists have like a harder time like getting any kind of exposure than I did. And so that stuff just like reinforces my idea that like this is what I'm supposed to be doing, you know?
Lord, I was born a rambling man.